So I'm rolling on my Sparta Real Star bicycle from which I recently rebuilt the uh, coaster brake hub and it cycles okay although I wish I had installed a larger sprocket I already went from 16 to 17 teeth but I should have gone to 18 or 19 because the bicycle is still kind of heavy to ride it also it also still makes a, a noise that is coming from the drive train not sure if you can hear this there's a bit of wind today so the audio recording will not be great anyway tonight I'm going to um, open, the, open the chain case up again and have a look I might have uh, set the chain too tight and that is uh, dragging the bicycle down or I think that is what is happening or maybe these tires are just shit anyway see you later inside the barn So before I have another look at the drivetrain, I'm planning to replace this handlebar that I installed in the previous video. It is not really working out. It's too far to the front of the bicycle or maybe this frame is just too big for me. It kind of sucks. So it will have to go. And also I want my uh, original bell back because this one ping bell kind of sucks. I'm also planning to replace this saddle because it is damaged and the foam will soak up a lot of water and I don't like uh, getting my overalls wet. This here is the original handlebar of the Sparta Rilstar bicycle. It is rather wide and it is swept backwards too much or maybe it's just too long. I do like the uh, grips and uh, the bell. And this handlebar came from an ultra bicycle that I scrapped last year. Um, it's from aluminium and I kind of hate these grips and I do not really need these uh, levers so I'm going to install uh, the original grips and bell onto this handlebar and I'm probably also going to replace this stem with the original one because this one is kind of low let's quickly replace the handlebar and I already swapped out the uh, grips and the bell and of course the grips were very tight the Sparta Rillstar grips were fastened with, a, with an Allen key and the other grips, those nasty profiled ones they were fixed with some glue And I will be using the, uh, the stem, the original stem from the Sparta Railstar. And here's the aluminium handlebar. And this one is uh, a Sake Custom. And I thought that would be uh, Japanese, but it says uh, England on the handlebar. And it says uh, Road Champion. Well, hopefully it will work out better than that uh, rather flat handlebar. This saddle isn't new, but it should be uh, a little bit more uh, water resistant. And my bicycle does have to spend the night outside sometimes. And of course that nut is on the other side. What's going on here? something wrong I think I know what's wrong here this uh, clamp lock strap whatever it is too small these uh, two sides are hitting each other here in the middle now I could grind off some material 
but it's probably easier to just replace the strap, clamp, lock, whatever. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I swapped out the strap from the old saddle. Now let's install this thing. I think this saddle might be higher. So maybe later I need to adjust the uh, C-tube height. Yeah, feels a lot better. Problem solved. To be honest, this saddle doesn't look all that comfortable. Hopefully my ass will not complain. But it's only for short rides. 10 kilometers max. I'm certain that this handlebar will be a great improvement. Just like uh, the bell. With the original bell reinstalled, it should be a lot easier to place this bicycle upside down. It shouldn't tip over. So I placed the bicycle upside down and as you can see the bell isn't causing any problems. Now let's have a look inside this chain case and find out if I perhaps set the chain a little bit too tight. Well, this part of the chain case is rather tight. Got it. That's maybe a bit tight, but not a whole lot. I just remembered there were some burrs on the front chain ring. Maybe those were causing the sounds I was hearing when cycling. Perhaps it's a good idea to use my Dremel and grind those away. It's probably wasting time, but lots of YouTubers waste time, so I'm not apologizing for that. Why is this? Come on! Get out of here! Something is holding it back! Got it. And of course it's probably a good idea to also remove the screw on the other side. Got it. Uh, maybe I should loosen up the chain. So now I can remove this uh, lower part of the chain case. Not all teeth have this burr, but some of them do. You see, these seem to be fine. Anyway, I'm going to get my uh, Dremel grinder and remove this, uh, this burr or this excess folded over material. It can't be good for anything. So I'm done grinding. And it feels better. I'm not expecting a miracle from this, but hopefully, or maybe, it will help with the uh, noises I was hearing that came from the drivetrain. All right, now it's time to uh, clean this up a little bit better and uh, reassemble this. A lot of the brake cleaner ended up at the bottom of the chain case. So, I will need to remove this. It's time to reinstall the chain. So let's see if this works out just as well as the last time. I can see the chain. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and of course, I'm not forgetting the little screws. One in the front, and another one at the rear. And where's my link?
It's gone. Of course it's gone. Well, I found it. It probably fell off the uh, chain when I took it off. Eh, it's a coaster break. Well, it complicates things, but I think I got it. Yep. Yeah. I do think the chain is a little bit too tight. Yeah. Just to be sure, I'm going to loosen it up just a bit. So I just loosened up the uh, chain tensioners, maybe a quarter turn. And now I'm loosening up the axle nuts and the brake reaction arm was already loose. So I got my rubber melt. Let's hit the wheel from behind. It should have moved forward. Yeah, the chain is a lot looser. That's what I want. Time to tighten everything up again. And this time I will not forget the brake reaction on. I probably should have uh, replaced that front chain ring because I don't think I fixed anything by grinding off a little burr. But yeah, where do I get a chain ring at night? <sighs> okay, I'm done. I just noticed that this tire probably has a slow leak and that would uh, explain some of the drag that I was feeling. I guess I should uh, mend this tire now that the bicycle is still upside down. Looks like I mounted the uh, tire correctly. I needed to turn around the bicycle because I don't want to take out the inner tube on the uh, chain case side. So, now the search for this small leak can begin. I hardly ever use a bucket full of water, but in this case I thought it was a good idea. And to my surprise, I can actually hear the uh, leak. There it is. Looks like it's leaking next to this uh, this old patch. I think the hole must have gotten bigger once I inflated the inner tube without the uh, tire. So I guess I will have to patch this again. I don't think I did this repair, but I'm not sure, maybe I did. But this tire came from that uh, mostly green Batalis bicycle, and I did fix a tire on that one at some point. And I hate patching patched tires. Brake cleaner. It does feel very slippery. Very slippery. Maybe it's better to just tear off the uh, old patch. But to be honest, I don't feel like doing that right now. All right, now this will have to uh, dry for a while. All right, 
Time to go for a tea. I think I waited long enough for this patch to dry. Because I would like to use this bicycle tonight to do an uh, errand. Where's the fell tool? Ah, there it is. This time there's no real need to hunt for glass or a torn. It was just a bad patch. All right, time to flip the bicycle around again. As you can see, it's pretty dark, so it's a good thing this bicycle has working lights. So after fixing a second flat tire and eventually replacing the uh, rear inner tube as a precaution. Um, so now I'm finally uh, taking my test ride on the uh, Sparta Railstar and I do believe it cycles better, lighter. Maybe that's the uh, proper inflated tire or perhaps all that grinding work that I did on the front chain ring paid off or maybe it was the uh, tight chain I don't know but I do believe there's less noise coming from the uh, the drivetrain I'm not sure how well the camera will pick this up it's too early to make any uh, permanent conclusions but I do like this uh, handlebar and of course I'm glad to have my bell back soft sand uh, the saddle I'm sitting on isn't all that great it's, it's a bit hard like you're sitting on a boulder so I will have to find something else at some point but I do believe it was a time well spent All right, I guess that's it. Like, subscribe, share, yada, yada, yada. And uh, to be continued.